Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? It is so early, you guys. It is 9.45 a.m. I have been up since like four o'clock this morning. I went to bed super early last night, and so I got up and I vlogged, and I've been listening to my audiobook, and I made my list for the day, and I'm on my second cup of coffee. And so I was like, where is somewhere that I can go shop today and see a store that I've never seen before? And um, so like, I just pulled over and I looked up grocery stores and a lot of like the Dollar Tree places came up. Like there's a Dollar General right across the street and um, Family Dollar came up. And I was like, oh my God, I don't think I've ever been to Family Dollar in my entire life. So I found the one that was closest to me, which is probably 25 minutes away. And I drove all the way over here, listening to my audiobook, having a very pleasant morning. And when I drove by, um, I was like, I saw this grocery store. It's called Save a Lot Food Stores, right? Uh, which is interesting because uh, if you know about my story with Herb Baumeister, who was a serial killer in Indianapolis, he um, supposedly killed 29 plus gay men and he uh, lived on this place called Fox Hollow Farms. It was like this huge like mansion manor in Carmel, Indiana. Uh, my friends Melissa and Aaron and I actually went out there and did like a paranormal investigation with a bunch of people. There's like 10 of us, I think. And that whole vlog is over on my Peter Vlogs channel. It's called Fox Hollow Farms. I think it's what it's called. Some, I think it's just called Fox Hollow Farms. It's actually my second most viewed video on that channel. Anyway, anyway, the story about Herb Baumeister is very strange, but he would take these poor men out there and he would pick them up at bars in Indianapolis and then he would take them out there and they were like intoxicated and then he would strangle them with a pool hose, kill them, and then take them out into the woods um, and get rid of them. So anyway, he was extremely wealthy and he and his wife owned stores that were the Save-A-Lot stores. Now, I don't know if there's any relation to this whatsoever, but I just, when I was driving by, I was like, oh, that's interesting. I've never seen the Save-A-Lot stores before. And they were like thrift stores back in the day. Um, they were like clothing th thrift stores. And in fact, a lot of the mannequins that were in the store, he had around his pool. If you like, there's a, a, a YouTube documentary. I think it was by John Lorden Arts, who was actually in that documentary recently that was called... Um, the, the, the Cecil Hotel, you know, that one that was on Netflix, that was really well done. He's in that a lot. And he did, um, a, uh, he did a, uh, documentary on YouTube talking about, or no, he did, he covered talking about the haunting of Fox Hollow Farms. So there's a documentary and it's kind of corny. And he says it's kind of corny. It's called the, the haunting of Fox Hollow Farms. They show the mannequins around the pool and stuff. When we were there, there were no mannequins around the pool because there was new owners, obviously. But I, so I was driving by trying to find the family dollar and I was like, where is this family dollar? I can't find it. And I saw the save a lot grocery store and I thought, oh, well I did the Aldi one and people found that interesting. So I could do this sometime. Well, I drove down and I was like, where is the family dollar? Like, I don't see it anywhere. And I kept on driving and I kept on driving. And, um, so like, finally I was like, I knew it was that, uh, like, I was on like Michigan Road and I got it was, I knew it was like 70 something in Michigan Road and I got to 60 something I was like I passed it. So anyway, um so when I passed it I like pulled in to this like neighborhood and I like looked it up on maps and I was like I passed it already so I came back and it's like right over there this family dollar but it's closed and they're like they have again like, everything ghost everything must go sale and then it said there was a sign on the door it's like a paper written sign that said closed for remodeling so anyway since I was in the same strip mall I thought well why don't I just come to save a lot food stores and we'll see what they have so they're open. Um, I was actually gonna, there was another store I was gonna do today. So, but I think I'm just gonna go into the Save a Lot stores. I have no idea what they're gonna have in here, uh, but I will just show you guys around and see what they have. So here we go, come shopping with me at the Save a Lot food stores. So here we go. This is the Save a Lot grocery store, Save a Lot food stores. Never even heard of this place before. So let's go in here and see what they got. First of all, when you come in, they have like tons of produce, like really fresh produce. The store is huge. All kinds of stuff. The prices do seem really reasonable. Compared to like Meyer and other places, they seem really cheap. Their produce looks amazing. It's really 
my god. You guys, this store is huge. So it's kind of like, looks like Aldi a little bit. Um, but it's actually like an, a larger Aldi. Like, let me show you if you can see. It's like so huge in here. Um, let's kind of see. So they got protein bars here. I don't know these brands, um, but they're like $2. Good deal. They got chicken stock, vegetable stock, this is all stuff for Thanksgiving. People maybe are buying early. I know you guys love my constant commentary, don't you? Tortilla chips. There's music in the background, so I'm hoping that the, the music doesn't ride over. Um, okay, let's see. There's Quaker cereal. The cereal, some of the cereal like this is like $1.99. I don't know this brand though. Kiggins. Um, have you guys heard of that brand? I think the cereal is Cheerios, $3.99 for a big family size. Oh, wow, that's huge. Um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, $3.49. These prices seem to be... I will say the one thing that's different about this versus, oh, look at that, 99 cent water. The thing that's different about this versus Aldi is that they seem to have uh, many more options for all the things that you can get. So that's cool. He's like stacking meat right now, so I'm not gonna go over there, but I do just wanna kinda see what like the meat like is like. Um, yeah. All kinds of stuff here. He's stocking it right now, so I'm not gonna go down there. And then they have all this. Let's see. It's like really clean in here, very organized. My husband and his friend really, really like this brand Goya, of like all the Goya stuff that you can get. Oh my God, they have Maltas here. Alex loves Maltas. They have all kinds of Goya stuff here. I'm gonna have to tell my friend she's gonna die. Um, oh, they have all kinds of it. So they have tons of stuff in here. Um, here you can get your packs of like noodle, instant noodles, 49 cents. That's really cheap. Oh, look at their little fruit display right here. This is so cool. It's cute. They have all this like fruit and stuff here. Very, very cute. And stuff. I'm like really hoping that the music over this because it's like really loud. Beans. Dun, dun, dun. French style beans. Over here they have different kinds of cakeware. All your spices that you would want. Okay. Been making stuff for cake mixes. 99 cents pancake stuff. All right, more pancake blueberry stuff. All right. Over here. Oh my God, I used to eat these back in the day. I loved this one, turkey and dressing. This was like one of my favorites. And I know that that's a lot cheaper than it is at the grocery store. I wish I knew the prices of some of this stuff. You can get your armor treats for $2.99. Okay. Let's see. Crackers. Their crackers are pretty cheap here, I would say. Oh my God, Alex loves these so much. These are my husband's, he loves those. That's cheap, I know. Definitely cheaper than the grocery store that, but at the airport, when you when you buy these at the airport, they're expensive as hell. Okay. So let's see, we got bratwurst and stuff, sugar, all kinds of lunch meat they have here. I don't know the price of stuff, so I don't know if it's good pricing or not. Um, all right, they got apple cider. Oh my lord, they got smoothie drinks. It's like their healthy little section here. Okay, let's go over here and see. Sugar, they have Kleenex for $1.89. Some of this stuff you can probably get at, well that's $4.99 for big toilet paper. Some of the stuff you can get like Dollar Tree, Dollar General for a lot cheaper. Um, five below, definitely. Paper products, all kinds of paper products. Like, they don't have tons and tons of stuff, but they have like cleaning products. Oh look, that's cheap. Okay, then they have all this. Dog stuff. 
Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, dog pops. $2.99 for these. Now, I know that's cheaper because we used to get those. I used to get them from Meyer, and they were like $4.99. So that's a lot cheaper. Um, wow, $4.99 for this huge dog treat thing. Gosh, that's great. Paper towels. Okay, let's see what else they have here. Glow, pine glow. Got all the, the scents that you would want. Oh, you're... <laughs> Don't you love my background info? Okay, laundry detergent. See, I feel I still feel like this is kind of expensive. Like I think it's cheaper at Meyer actually. Um, so I wouldn't say the store is like the cheapest. But one thing I will say compared to Aldi, like they have like all the Kool Aids, twenty five cents each. All these chips. Now they don't have tons of chips. Like I'll show you. Like this is all the chips they have. But they do have like all this pop. And they have like name brand stuff that's like cheaper than what you would normally have. So like that's $4.39. I don't remember how much like a case of soda would be. Macaroni and cheap Velveeta. Oh, Crunch Munch. I used to love that back in the day. Chips. Okay. And these are kind of like a off brand. Pringles, but those look good for 99 cents. Kettle chips. I don't know this brand, J. Higgs. More soda. Oh my God, Moon Mist. Moon Mist, I forgot all about that. That's like the um, Weiss, the RC um, Mountain Dew. All kinds of candy. Got cupcakes and all kinds of food here. And then more meat, mix and match for only $19.99. Kinds of stuff here. I wanna see if they have the, the Goya frozen stuff. Juice, wine punch over here. They have tons of uh, pork riblets, $15.99. Chicken for us, $5.99. All the stuff that they have. Coffee. Water, $3.49, dollars There's more meat and stuff over here. Okay, milk. I don't even know how much a gallon of milk is. This is cheaper though. Oh, but it's a different brand. I've never heard of it. I don't really see a lot of frozen food. Oh, here it's the frozen food down here. All this stuff. So this is like, they've got tons and tons of like name brand stuff. Like I'm real impressed with that. Okay. Corn dogs. The music is getting really loud in here. So I think that I'm going to, oh, look at all these pizzas. Okay. Well, these are definitely more expensive than the Meyer because they're 10 for $10 and they're $1.49 here. So more expensive. Pizzas. Those look good. $4.99. Hot pockets. Pies. Red. And then the register. And there's a lot of people online, so I'm gonna sign off now. Okay, so that was fun, wasn't it? Now, I'm not sure um, if when I upload the video, it will upload uh, with the music playing in the background. So if not, then I have included uh, my own little jingle over it. <laughs> and so there you go with that. Um, I'm not gonna put it silent anymore, but I will do a little song or something over it. But I do have more fun when I give my commentary as I'm walking around the store. Now, I'm not sitting in the same spot that I was before because um, I had to use the restroom, so I drove to the nearest gas station, and that is where I'm at now. Um, I, I thought it was a cool store, you know? Um, I thought some of the things were cheaper. Um, not tons, you know, but, like, buy a little bit, probably. Um, you know, I'm gonna go to the Meyer. Uh, I have to go there later today. That's where I usually do my grocery shopping. So it'll be interesting when I go there to see the price comparison of things. Um, the produce, and and I'm not a meat eater because I'm a vegetarian, but the produce and the meat looked really, really good. Um, I mean, there was no deli because the grocery store is really small. Um, it's like kind of like, I would say, it, it, the feeling inside is like a, a mix between like an Aldi and then like, a, you know, a, a national chain grocery store. Well, I guess Aldi is a national chain grocery store, but you know what I mean? Where they have like a deli and a bakery and all that kind of stuff. It feels kind of like in between that. Like it feels 
bigger than an Aldi, but uh, smaller than like a regular grocery store. If that, or like, you know, if it's not just like a neighborhood grocery store. But I was impressed with um, how much stuff they have. Cause it's not just like, you know, when you go to Aldi, like I, I didn't dislike Aldi, um, but like, when I'm going in for looking for something, like if they don't have it, it's like, you know, um, it, they'll have like these crackers, but not those crackers or something like that. You know what I mean? I was impressed with the variety of stuff that they had and that they had stuff that like, you know, even if it wasn't name brand, it was like, a, you know, a, another brand like that I had not heard of. Um, but it still looked like the products, like it still looked like, you know, the kettle chips, the Pringles, things like that. The art, I mean, I've had that moon mist. Um, that's like a, Mountain Dew like knockoff like by RC and it tastes just like Mountain Dew so I was real impressed with the store um people were super friendly in there and I mean they're open really early <laughs> A little too early for me but anyway yeah so that was fun so anyway um let me know where else you would like me to go in the comment section below thank you for shopping along with me i didn't buy anything because i don't need anything today so uh i saved a lot because <laughs> i don't need anything so anyway um i love you guys and i will see you tomorrow bye